um, my my special guest uh, of this week here on the show, Latino Slant, is one of the stars of Amazon Freebies, Jury Duty, nominated for four Emmys and a winner of a lot of different awards, guys. Uh, very acclaimed show uh, is called Jury Duty. The setup is really simple, guys. Everything's fake. The jury, the trial, the judge, everything except for one man. And that one man is taken through this entire trial. And at the very end, they kind of like, you know, take the mask off and like, hey, this is what really happened. It shows a trip. And I'm just so happy for my dear friend. Uh, it's been a while. Maria Russell, everybody. Hey. Hey, Polly. How are you? Thanks for having me. What's happening? Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. It still feels surreal. It doesn't feel like it's it's happened, but it's still like it, it feels surreal. It's just like every day there's something new and it's still going, which is wild. It's wild. And very special. Well, I, I mean, there's so much to talk about and yeah. and I'm so happy because you're truly uh, a um, someone who's stayed in the game and been working, but boom, and this is much deserved for your success. You. Um, what, I, what I find interesting is now everyone's starting to hear about this TV show, even though it's been around for almost a year. Yeah, no, it's wild. Listen, this is the, the, the one thing that the strike did for us is that it prolonged this show because... You know, the, the show premiered April of 2022 and sorry, 2023. And, you know, the strike went on essentially the, the remainder of the year. So it just kept on. The Emmys were supposed to be in September and then they pushed right. that. So it was like all these new people just kept watching it. I mean, but it literally it was the next day that it went completely viral. Thank you, Jen, the, the millennials. <laughs> What was you as the actor? What was your audition process from when you got your notice to when you got the job? The initial, the initial audition, the breakdown came down, came down. Um, it was sent to me by my agent and manager said, and all it said was it was a courtroom mockumentary producers of the office and Borat. And they wanted to see anyone male or female ages 21 and on and must have improv uh, background and, and comedy background, which I have. Um, so I was like, okay, so that was pretty much it. So what the audition process was like, was they wanted to see two different characters within yeah. the realm of, of what these different scenarios that, they, that we could choose from. So I chose my Cholita. <laughs> And then now, what is, what is what is a cholita for our international audience? Oh, my chola. So she's like this, you know, this gangster from like from right. like Arlita Pacoima, but she's like she's a veterana, so she still has like the homies in the, you know, she still has like little puppies still in the, you know, in the gang shit. So she still has, she's out of it, but she's in it, you know. But I love she's it. Still like she's still like hood, you know what I mean? Right, right. That would have been fun. So you did that. You prepared that character. So that was my one, and it was with the realm of in the courtroom and why yeah. I wanted to get out of um, out of jury duty. And then I I also did a different character, which is uh, Candy, and she was a stripper with a heart of gold and trying to get out of jury duty as well. Um, I'm sorry. Did you so, say stripper with a heart of gold? <laughs> stripper with a heart of gold. So she's trying to flirt with everybody to try to get out of uh, jury duty. So. Was there was there costumes that had to be put on and you know with well, their... I, they, they come naturally so my costumes are natural so so that was <laughs> <laughs> in here back for about a month so i'm like you know i'm like okay i didn't book it no big deal like right. whatever so then about six weeks later i found out that not only was i pinned i booked it oh my so, god it was wow. crazy. So I didn't get to do the uh, the the callback. Um, you jumped, that, right? No, I just, they, you know, I, I just, just, yeah, I just got booked from tape, which so, is amazing. Yeah. So listen, guys, a pin is something where after you do oh, your sorry. callback, you're considered like it's, it's, it's you. They're just working out schedules. I don't know what. Maria was so amazing that no callback, no pin. You got the job. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's that's awesome. It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. 
And still, when I spoke with the producer and with Nick Hatton, it was still, he was talking to me about it. I was like, okay, that, that sounds amazing. Yay. It still was unclear. I think nobody kind of, honest to God, no one really knew what was going to happen or the logistics. It was, uh -huh. you know, just they have their actors and let's do this. So it was crazy and exciting and amazing and wild. Well, you you've always had that great energy about you. You, you. You're fearless. You're 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 a badass. So it's like you know, do it. I can imagine how much fun you had on that set. And and how about that cast? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Like, honest to God, I was like the first week of rehearsal. And mind you, we mm -hmm. didn't even all test together. We just mm. all job. We met the first day of rehearsals. Like we You're just kidding all me. Met, you know, it was crazy. And it was a it was a little intimidating, especially sure. as the story with Kirk Fox, because you know, I'm not a stand-up comedian. I don't I don't come from that world. It's a completely right. different genre, right? So Kirk Fox was in a in rehearsals. He started kind of doing like a 30-minute special. Okay. <laughs> and I literally was like, oh my God, they're going to find me out. I'm not a stand -up comedian. Oh my God, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to get fired. I'm going to get fired tomorrow. Oh my God. You know, but he was doing it more for us. But it was, you know, it was scary because we didn't know what we were doing, honestly. And this cast, as yeah. you know, for myself, I had to remember Inez and Ronald were very close. So mm. and you don't get to see a lot of the conversations that were had, um, but you know, I was like, you know, I knew everything about his life and he knew everything about Inez's life. So I try oh, to wow. stay a little bit as close to my life, you know, so that I remember everything because I would go home and write down, okay, this is what I told him. So I had to remember what I told him because because he he's very sharp. He would remember everything. But so. then you guys start getting all these nominations and all the this acclaim. And you guys have won, uh, you know, several things, you know, win or lose. You guys are winners. I mean, th this is this is amazing. Yeah, it really is. And it's like, remember when we found out that we were nominated for four Emmys? We like all called each other. We were crying because we're like, what? They're like never in a million years. Like a, four Emmys? What? Yeah. You know, and the Golden Globe. We're nominated for two Golden Globes. Sorry. And, right. you know, AFI. And we won the, you, you know, the, the, um, uh, not American film market, the, the, uh, um, independent. Yes. So, sorry. Indie spirit award. We Indie spirit award. Cast. Yeah. Would, did you guys even think that that would be a possibility? Cause you're just, cause you were so into the work and you, and you, and you were done. Did you think you had something special? Yes. I knew it was special. I really did mm -hmm. that. I did know Did I know that it was going to be what it is. Absolutely. Not in a million right. years. We thought because what they told us in the beginning, it was going to be on IMDb TV. And we're like, what's IMDb TV? We're right. like, okay, I guess no one's going to watch it, but we're going to have fun. And we're going to do this. Woo! So literally, we just had that intention that we were going to do the best that we can do and, and have fun. But then there were times where we're not supposed to laugh at all. It was serious. Mm. So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I have a method. I pinched the right side of my, my leg. So, so instead of feeling like I want to laugh, I want to cry. So that's my method. That's a and method. It, that's torture. It works. And it works though. It works. <laughs> it works. That's my go-to. Okay. Well, when, when was it, when did you have to pinch yourself? You oh give my me a God. moment. Okay. There's so many times, but one of the times was when Todd, um, who, who, oh, I'm sorry, David, who plays Todd, um, oh, he starts talking about these shark teeth and I literally, I had, so I would turn around also. I'd be like, <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> were you, were you called around? What were you saying? Like she, she's a bitch, but I love her. Yes. And that literally, you know, what's so funny is like when we were doing those talking mm -hmm. head, um, interviews by the end of the day, we're mentally and physically exhausted. So we're all like, we're literally, we're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just, this is how I feel about her. But no, that's, I mean, she was so perfect for me to work 
off of because a lot of you know well all of it i didn't know what she was going to do you know i didn't know she was going to do all that um that was all fresh and new so oh. she gave me a lot to work with so it's very very um yeah i know i, I mean, have people tell me, oh my god you're a bitch but you're beautiful i hate you i love you and if that's that's so cool when people come up to me and just start like saying my lines i'm like oh my god this is crazy ah. first choice i know no he was literally on point like he yep. was so i mean so flipping good yep. it was wild it was like so amazing to see too because he doesn't come necessarily from this world you know of, of right of improv and it's it is a very specific type of genre and and it's also not your typical kind of improv either this is a situational um, type of improv with a real person so that doesn't know that he's in on it so it's 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 so many different firsts that that they really they really got the best people for this job it's wild another <laughs> thing you've been doing is hitting the red carpet mama look at you <laughs> it's crazy oh my gosh all these exciting like going to the vanity fair what party Wait, like what, what? Yeah, what, which which is what? What is this one right here? Is he um, going to Abigail? Well, that was, that's a movie premiere. That's a movie. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. So no, it's just it's wild, and to go to the Emmys. Like one thing is to go to the Emmys, right? Just to uh -huh. attend. Another thing is to go to the Emmys when your your show your show is nominated for best comedy and for casting and for writing and for. I mean, and for James Marsden, I mean, it's, it's really, yeah. it feels like a dream, but I've been working really hard, you know? So it, it's, it's, um, it's such yes, a treat to be able to have this. It, it feels, it's, oh, I get sometimes literally overwhelmed with, with emotion because it's like, wow, I've worked so hard for so many years and, and then bam, jury duty, jury duty. <laughs>